how does the data me measure up in establishing a baseline for SDG compliance? So, at the heart of the SDGs, a um, lot of focus on data and making sure that our targets are being met and that they're being effectively, but what's the baseline? Where are we starting from? So, how do we look at the data? Uh, we'll go through the key findings and trends, then seek to explain uh, the trend. So, in part, it was a desk review, and then it was a policy analysis uh, and legislative review. So, that's where the context for the trends and the data comes from. Um, policy and legislative framework and other contextual factors. So under that section, I'll be having a bit of a discussion about the education system and the way that it feeds into to this discussion. Because as we can appreciate, the SDGs and human rights more generally, uh, their interconnections are fundamentally important. So if I don't have access to education, then my access to the labor market is uh, impaired on, on, that, on that end. Um, also, there's a, a bit of a gender lens as well. So, because we do know that um, gender and disability, that they do come together to provide um, additional or complicated intersectional hurdles. So, so general overview of Barbados, relatively stable democracy, population of about 280,000. High levels of HDI, so currently 57, peak at 29 on the HDI index. Unemployment currently is about 11.9%. Um, and as it relates to disabilities, and we'll get into it a bit more, there's a very weak legislative framework. Uh, there's social protection, um, and then as it relates to uh, protection from discrimination, the Employment Rights Act is the only legislation really that treats to persons with disabilities. So first, the SDGs will look at the indicators and targets so that we then assess Barbados against that context. So goal 4, 8, 10, 11, 16, and 17, uh, inclusive and equitable quality education, uh, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work, uh, reduce inequality within countries on the goal 10, um, and we'll be focusing on 4, 8, 10, and um, 17 as it relates to the labor market. But of course, we can't have that discussion in the abstract without looking at access to how do I get to work? Um, how, how are laws made about uh, disability? So we're also then looking at participation uh, throughout all levels of society. So the president of the Senate uh, is Carrie Ann Eiffel, and she is, uh, first, she's living with disability, she's blind. Um, so she's been one of the key advocates as relates to disabilities uh, within Barbados. Do we have relevant, uh, timely, sufficient, accurate data? The short answer, we don't. Just in terms of quick recommendation, we need to have a greater uh, framework for data. It is not that instruments are incapable of data collection. We simply have not made it a political priority. So in 2020, with the census coming, um, the organization Ever Able, they're looking to petition and partner with the statistical unit uh, to ensure that there is greater inclusion of this data. Um, in terms of legal protection, there was a white paper in 2003. There are four bills which are currently awaiting, um, which are before the parliament. That's since 2005. So we also see very weak political will um, to engage. So a, a, white paper, a green paper in 2003 has not yet um, borne fruit. We also see uh, in 2003, there was then a promise that the disability survey was ongoing, the specific survey um, was ongoing. In the CRC report of 2016, it is still ongoing. So there's a need for um, considerable pressure from civil society to ensure that government so participates. 